Hey, this is Richard Realign. Despite the huge grin on my face, I wanted to make a video about how to deal with negativity. It's inspired directly by a recent uh, couple of experiences I've had of sharing things online and receiving kind of anger back and, and kind of unsavory weirdness. And it's completely understandable in these uncharted, confusing times. And if you're also in a space of yeah, there's a lot going on out there. I'm not quite sure how I'm fitting into this and my place and how I feel about it, then perhaps this video is for you. I'm not talking about abuse, that's really important. That requires very strong and clear boundaries and that's a, another topic altogether. What I am talking about is people um, meeting that need for significance, um, coming from a place of, of fear, essentially, and having strong opinions about ideas that you maybe really don't agree with and how we engage with people uh, coming from this space. It's about people that are yeah, a little bit loaded with anger at the moment and how we react to that. And there's a couple of things to really keep in mind the whole way through. One I've mentioned is that it's always coming from a place of fear. And if we make that slightly more tangible, then what we're talking about is people's most fundamental basic need not being met and that's safety kind of understandable, right? Like I'm not someone that runs around shopping and buying and stockpiling and everything, despite no noticing a, a level of uncertainty about what's happening around me. But there are some people that will do that. And it's important to A, have a place of uh, compassion in your heart for them. But and if not, start to look at why that is. Because the second thing to keep in mind is that it's not about us. And when someone uh, comes at us in some way or we respond or react in some way negatively, then we have to remember that there's probably something going on inside either us if we're reacting so quickly, and it's re normally related to self-worth in some way actually, or if it's coming from them, then yeah, absolutely, it's something that's on them and we must always hold ourselves and say, hang on, wait a minute. And so this REST principle that I wanna explain, this acronym, deals with this in, in four simple stages. The first one is to remember, and that is to remember that, hang on a minute, this has got nothing to do with me as a human and my worth, my ideas, my life. The second is to emote or feel. And what I mean by that is to welcome the sensations that come up in you, whether it's uh, reactivity, if it's anger, if it's like a whatever, or if it's a sadness or a frustration, and let it bubble, let it, let it uh, be there, but then essentially moving on to step three, step back. And remember that this has absolutely nothing to do with you. And if you can, step back and look at the bigger picture of life, the bigger picture of what's going on in this person's mind. And would they consciously choose, to steal a friend's favorite phrase, to be behave like this in this space that they're in? There's, always something going on with the other person. And for us to try and remember that and, and help have a healthy boundary around that is really important. And the final piece, the T stands for trust. And what I mean by that is trust in yourself and that what you have to offer or what you've said and who you are is of value and is of worth. And that it can't and shouldn't be so easily affected by somebody else's vibes. All well and good. Well, in terms of how to respond to some of these comments, well, here's a few ideas. One, is responding to what someone has said actually helpful? Is engaging actually worthwhile? Is that serving? Often, that person is having a need for significance met as well in being heard and stating something and causing uh, a need for attention. Are we playing into their hands by responding to them in any way? Are we also tapping into meeting our need for significance in an unhealthy way by engaging with them and saying, no, this is what I think, or this is what's going on? Two, what about letting it go completely? What about not reacting, saying absolutely nothing? Keeping in mind the idea that misery loves company and so does negativity. And so by stepping back and not saying a word, you've taken all of the power away from this person and they've got no fuel with which to continue with. 
it's quite a hard thing to do when you want to say something back to this person, but are you saying it from a place of wanting to be right? Or are you saying it from a place of deep compassion and actually wanting to serve that person? Can we be compassionate? Are you, do you have the capacity to be compassionate when you actually respond? Because that's where we ideally want to come from. And that's often a big ask in the moment. So again, taking a moment to step back, letting those feelings come up, letting them pass through you and from a different place that doesn't have a charge, perhaps you can then respond from a place of, I hear you, I don't agree with you, um, but thanks for your comment. One of the most powerful things that I've uh, been able to do it gives me the most freedom when someone says something really, really shitty. It's just, thanks for the feedback. <laughs> and then I leave it and guess what? They never come back at me again. Maybe that's what I want. Maybe I'd love to try and serve them, but check in with your own levels for capacity. Finally, keep in mind that there are so many different opinions and ideas out there and everyone in the world, you know, believes that their opinion is, is the right one, right? That's how we're divided up at the moment. And so, I invite you to think of, uh, as a final question, is my action creating connection or is it creating separation? Not about being right, not about being heard, but is it about, is, are you creating separation from this person in a healthy way or unhealthy way? Or are you able to create connection? I hope I don't confuse by that last point, so let me clarify. Separating uh, with healthy boundaries and saying no, this person doesn't get in and it doesn't serve me to interact is a good thing if you know where you're coming from. Separating from a place of <laughs> reactivity is, um, is still going to sit inside with you, which is why we carry this kind of stuff. Connection is always a good thing as long as you know the place where it's coming from. So take a step back, remember, feel it all and trust that you have value in what you think and say and then ask yourself, does it serve me to get involved in this conversation or can I let it go? I hope that's been of some value. Uh, stay sane, stay safe and stay healthy in these interesting times. And I'll be back online soon.